Hello everybody, welcome to the first game of the season for season six. We've got a new competitor here, Bright, with uh, replacing Diomed in a like-for-like -like substitution, a necromantic Russian coach with another one. So there you go, he's got exactly the same team as Andy Devo pick last season. I mean, very similar to mine, right? Just uh, two block wolves instead, which seems pretty reasonable, trading out the extra skill for the extra money for a ghoul and 12 players. Up against Olivier Delac with a with a t making use of the rules change, the extra skill, which is the Euro Bowl standard. So now Olivier Delac will actually have the, the team that he will be using in Euro Bowl this year. Finally, no longer constrained by the uh, one point packages. And in the booth with me is Hargrim. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hello. The famously famous of course most famous in Blood Bowl of course for losing seven games in a row <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to live that up am I never <laughs> never and yet still I managed to claw my way back from that disaster yeah well done <laughs> oh dear Blood Bowl's very own 007 yeah so yeah, this is a new season, um, BB Jock. We, we have so what's happened is, um, the World Championship of Blood Bowl Three starts on the twenty seventh of October, I believe. That that date is in my head for a reason, so I could be wrong, but I believe that's when it starts. So I thought, you know, we've, if we if we don't start now, we won't. Oh my God, instant cars! We won't have time to cram it in before the world championship starts and then also of course this gives people a you know three three or four more games before euro ball <laughs> oh there's a dub skull wow instant full dub skull you might want to throw up a stream on the discord jim oh yes i will i'm sorry. gonna be on a delay yeah sorry i i'm all i'm so bad for forgetting that but there you go we are okay. we are live Hello, Sol. Oh wow! Release the doves. Sol is here. Amazing. So, Sol, are you are you are you playing Dimmy in like four and a half hours? Is that correct? Because you said Thursday and he said Monday. <laughs> Sol said Monday. Sol said Thursday and Dimmy agreed to play Monday. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, I think Dimmy really thinks he's playing <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll message Dimmy. Dimbo. Um, okay, well, yeah, it's just that I think because, no, I think you, like, gave a thumbs up, right? I think you gave a thumbs up to his post and he took that to me now, yes. Thanks, Sol. Right, so he makes the pickup. Huge, right? Because And already he's got a big team split going on, so I feel like you don't blitz, right? And just bring these guys back to try and connect the team a bit because he's got this space here you know where rats love to oh my god and there's Ooh. another uh, oh my god see look how much better not blitzing would have been i hate yeah. to you know prove how amazingly correct i am but th <laughs> this is the zone that like the team splits go in isn't it this this zone here so this is the bit that you want like occupied the most um to stop them getting in there so yeah and and this is this is not occupied at all and we're gonna have a huge team split here and this is an absolute nightmare for bright yeah, this is no es bueno, no es bueno. Mm. It's it's almost game over, yeah. And who who knows how much this happens to uh, Olivier Delac? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably quite a lot, I'd imagine, on tabletop. Yeah, this is horrendous. Like, I I mean, I wasn't, you know, obviously, like he won in nine, which was unlucky, but I really did like not blitzing at all and just getting getting players back into this space because this yeah, is. Not taking the blitz would have been perfect because it allows you to just centralize on the next turn. Right now, you're up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Yeah, yeah. This this is the danger zone, isn't it? This like I don't know between three and six or whatever is where they can get you. It's like, whoa. 
and it's all open. That's the thing, is it? These four, these four rows are all open, completely open. This so the is... name of the game for Bright now is How Do You Stabilize? Yeah. Which is uh, not going to be easy, Jim. And it's basically, it's. I mean, it, stabilizing is impossible. It's how do you, how do you, do your best to not concede to next turn. <laughs> Um, I don't think this is a, maybe a mistake from Olivia here, right? Get another player over there is more important than over here. Like, he can't really go this way, I don't think. This guy maybe should have... Uh, maybe another guy over there. I think you just... Uh, you come around, blitz this guy, and cage like here. Maybe blitz this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can kind of hit cage over here, can't he? But it's yeah. horrible. Like, it's horrible. You can be battling the whole drive. Like, the whole drive is, is horrific now. Absolutely horrific. <laughs> it's the problem is it's the only space you can take. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's it's basically just which option, which bad option do you like the best? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it has to be here. I think it has to be all around here. There's, there's, but it's how do you blitz the side stepper and hope to power him and then. You know, use that guy as a cage corner. Do you uh, mm. go for the guarder and then, you know, base this gut runner a lot? <sighs> Surf the leader, oh my god. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's totally possible, but mental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think you have to just go that side. But yeah, it's something to think of, isn't it? That you know the surf the surf is is something you could think about doing. Um, like even if you write it off instantly. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, it's it's right to think about that stuff, right? They're the things you need to be looking at as a necro coach, right? Like, you know, or is this guy not obviously not on this turn because now your only thing is stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. It, you're you're going to be spending like three. This is like a three or four turn plan to stabilize at this like at this point. Like, yeah. st stabilization is a nightmare. Um, I don't think you can go for the. Oh, we're blitzing with the ball. No, no, that's oh, a handoff, no. handoff action. Hand off. I can't so like, fucking like play with default. this game. Yeah, yeah, that's like the default uh, ball carrier um, action. Okay, Wolf Blitz. Mm. No. Mm. I'll into, try my fan. Into a, into a 1D. <laughs> 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 and yeah, that wasn't good, was he? He probably needed to move something else in first. <laughs> Two into one. It's not what you need. Nor the current position either. No. Having gutter runner on ball is usually a bad thing. Yep, yep, this is, uh, this is... Oh, and there's the guy who could have, you know, basically been there to start with. <laughs> 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 Would have made it a two into two. But never mind. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe that. I thought the gutter would have gone south. Yeah, that was that is a bit strange. Just to, I would have gone there just to hold that space here yeah, rather than let him tuck in. Problem is that there's just red dice on the ball already with strip. Yep. I mean, there's one dice on the ball with strip. Inconceivably easy. <laughs> That's uh. Yeah, so he's had to dodge double G if I had to close the corner up. So. Whew, down to one reroll already. Flip me. Against Olivier's four. Yeah. Yeah. That was great though. That was a great, uh, a great double GFI to be like dodge double GFI. That really locks down like because he could have also just uphill here, right, looking for a push to get to get the hit on the ball as well. So now that guard shuts down that avenue. I mean, he could still go for it. It's a lot go worse. Go for the two three pluses mean. into two three pluses. The problem is the scatter squares are terrible. Yeah. Yeah, 
was a, that was a really nice dodge double GFI. I wonder if this guy could have gone there first, but uh, you know, like if he had gone, if he maybe he could have reached it. Wasn't one of them nearer? But anyway, whatever it was, he he got there with a the dodge. So yeah, he's oh the greed reroll. Yeah, he's got four, hasn't he? I guess. Wild. I guess that would have given him a one D on the ball. Uh, no, yeah, it would have given him one D on the ball as well, wouldn't it? So it wasn't just yeah. wasn't just for damage. It was also giving him a one in six or or a thirty percent if he would, which he probably would be willing to chuck another reroll in. Just use the roll get a punch. I think that's to do anyways. Yes, yeah, there's going to be an easy, in, interesting turn here. A million blocks um, for Bright. A, potentially a Surf as well, um, depending on how exactly how things go. Less likely now. <laughs> yeah. Now the wolf's gone. But... So there was a lot to be said for surfing that that wrestler wasn't there, but probably unrealistic, you know, I'm better to just hit the sidestepper with or Crenzi. This is probably better, it allows a more stable position. Yeah. If this had been the, the stripper, maybe you'd go for it, to be fair, right? But obviously wrestlers were yeah. the worst to hit a wrestler as well. But if if this it had is been the stripper, stripper, then you probably go for it. Yeah. At least, at least do the wraith block first, if it's a stripper, yeah. and then see what happens. He does have a zombie that could foul, doesn't he? Uh, that's a, that's a that's an option at the moment. Right, you know, maybe maybe cage around the side the, around the side stepper a bit, or the guard a bit, and then, that's doable. And then stick a foul in. I don't think you foul here, though, unless you dodge the ghoul first. Yeah, no, he can't really spare the players, can he? It looks like he's going to no. have to dodge with a ghoul as well. Problem is, if he fouls from this position and gets sent off, then there's just dice on the ball. Yes, yeah, I mean, there's the gaping hole, yeah. It's, it's not looking good. Hello, Dwight. Gets a stun there, yeah, gets the dodge. Yeah, he basically had a dodge there, didn't he? Needs to not mess up, doesn't mess up. So he's more or less stabilised. Of course, there is still the uphill strip. Um, he's very much on, isn't it? Four plus dodge in. Removing players. Wish I could do that versus Skaven ever. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, two players down, two stuns makes next turn a bit tricky for Olivier. Oh, oh, According oh, to Bloodball.dk, which rates uh, coach rating and not race rating, the number one in the world is uh, Helborg, who is also a French player. Wow. Little trivia for you. Yeah, thanks. Super interesting. Oh my god, Kale. That, that, that also happens to me every time I get a Wraith blocked, by the way. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Wraiths are so good, you know, they've got they've got foul appearance and they've got sidestep, so... And every time they get hit, they're, no, they're armor 9+, plus. they just die to a, you know, a, a stiff breeze. Uh, it, I find yeah. it very frustrating. I really don't know how to play Necro at all. As evidenced by, by me not making the playoffs, ridiculously not making the playoffs for the first time Diced ever. again. Mm. Uh, Niagara, it was updated uh, cool. two days ago. Well, there you go. Complete and utter stabilization now. Yep. Free stabilization. Wonderful. Wonderful. The most reliable big guy in the game there. Instant double skulls. 
Well, exactly, Ali Red. That's the point, right? People are like, oh, they're so good, they're defensive, you know, I don't know, they've got the defensive skill, but like they're great defensive players with sidestep and stuff, but well, no, they're just Aram rate players that, you know, okay, sidestep and foul appearance are, you know, foul appearance is like the best defensive skill, to be fair, in the game, like best protection, but it's better than any amount of arm and stuff, isn't it? Because one in six knockdowns, it just completely negates, and, and also the blitzes and everything, like, is actually a great skill, foul appearance. But, yeah. Um, but the problem is, and you know, sidestep's great, that dissuades people from hitting you and stuff. But the problem is, they're still just armor 9 plus, so they just, it's just so easy to remove them. Same as wolves, right? Your opponent hits a wolf every chance they can get, <laughs> even with regen. Yeah. Uh, they're armor 9, it's very easy to remove them. And even a KO on them is fine as well. Yes. Yeah, massive. Any any positional down for Necro, I, I find sad. <laughs> Pete Dubs is up there as well on this coach rating. Oh, the win percent is very yeah, interesting, Yeah, it shows win percent as well. 85 for Salt. <laughs> wow. But Olivier is right up there, still. Still 8th in the world. Interesting. Interesting that uh, K-Fog is nowhere to be seen with his strange slant obsession. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging him down. Uh, Sol, check the link that I posted in uh, the chat. It shows coach ratings. And you're sixth on the ladder in the world. <laughs> I can pin it, look. I'll pin it. There you go. Boah. Sol's <laughs> the champ. Picking off the unskilled gowl. But he does have the, the other gutter up now, so he's back to, what, nine players? Yep. To activate. So we can still mount a defence. Mighty blowing the wolf. Mm. Gets nothing. Diced again. I guess. Ooh. So he does have a Juggernaut Rat Olga, right? So now the, the main thing for Bright is to try and foul this Rat Olga and try and hurt this Rat Olga because without the Rat Olga, there's no there's not one turn, is there? So, I mean, maybe right against the sidestepper, but very difficult versus two stands firms. I think Olivier has to play for the one turn score here. Yeah. Yeah, it's more than likely, isn't it? You know. Yeah. We do have complete stabilization for Bright. Absolute stabilization. The top walk coach in North America. Well done, so. Oh boy! <laughs> there's no shame. There's no shame in one one three in Super League, is there? There really isn't. Better than my one one seven. Hey! Completely salvaged the double O's. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been I like double O nine and been like way better than James Bond. <laughs> yeah, would have been ranked higher than James Bond. <laughs> Glorious sort. Yeah, I, I really like it for, you know, somewhat similar reasons. Um, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Good quality blood balls. As good as you're going to find in the world, isn't it? In Super League. Super League. He is hamstrung a little bit by how slow this zombie is. Um, and also the fact that, you know, he's committed a ghoul further back as well. So he's just, he's just, you know, going in with the pressure here, which is, 
it's interesting, right? Because that's having these two players up. I mean, it's it's Olivier, so of course he's going to be applying pressure. But now it encourages him to apply even more, doesn't it? The fact it that he's got two players. It kind of is just inviting pressure, and if not, it's inviting the dive. Hmm. Okay, huge, huge JV break that temporarily at least frees those two players. Or he can sidestep onto the cage. He doesn't know. There are a lot of rats behind the ball, but they are fast, aren't they? What they have going for them is that they're fast. Um, but yeah, their rat ogre is a little bit tied up. More than a little bit, to be fair. Oh, AV break. Nothing. Boo. Maybe he'll blitz with a roger to get it into the cage. I don't hate Rogers that. Tied. Yeah, but no that's, that's what I mean, like blitz to get him into the cage, right? Yeah, oh yeah, he is doing exactly that. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course he doesn't oh. start. Oh, my goodness. So yeah, he wasn't going to stand firm twice to get him further away, but then and then he was he was then going to like go one two three four, and maybe he's into there and then like assist, or if he powered him instantly, he could have gone on the back of the cage. So yeah, I did I did like blitzing him to get him back, but he's rolled some bad die to them, hasn't he? Two double skulls, and that leaves these two free as well with that uh, that knockdown last turn. <laughs> Um. Y yes, uh, something like that. He's he's been a bit unlucky with the dub skulls on his roger, but um, he he split the team. But I did think he left it a little bit open on that side, and that's the side that Bright went. And then yeah, after that was total total. It was just the next turn after that was like nothing was in contact, was it? So he was able to fully stabilize, and then. Um, I well, couldn't stand firm even if he wanted to because it's chugging on. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'd literally just said about wanting to remove the rat ogre for the, cause, for the one turn because of juggernaut. <sighs> Thanks, Maud Ready. I literally made the point that, you know, a big point for Bright is trying to remove the rat ogre to stop the one turn because he can juggernaut against the stand firm and then completely miss the fact. Ah, oh, yes, he's cleverly not stand firming to take him away. No. <laughs> no. It wasn't that clever either, was it? Not stand firming. But it was the right thing to do, was to not stand firm. But yes, he didn't have the choice. And I'm a moron. An absolute moron. Happens to the best of us, Jim. Yep. Ne Necro does seem really hard for rats, yeah. They, they, they kind of count with a one turn, don't they? Um, it just depends on the rat ogre. But um, they're I've good against the one turn. I've noticed that a lot of people have been taking block on the Rat Ogre. I know it's a very Italian thing to do as well. So, Skaven players in Italy will quite often take block on the Rogue instead of Juggernaut and not play for the one turn and just play for regular time. Um, <laughs> like, breaking. Which is a bit weird to me. It, it's but, probably better versus worse players, right? Yeah. But if you're playing good players like this, you're going to have to one turn. Yeah. That's the thing. Like Art says, you know, he, he always says, like, you know, that's improving one turn, you know, he could do that and it would be the best way to uh, improve his chances versus the top players. But then when he plays on ladder, he has to one turn, like, once every hundred games. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, to be fair, he did double skull twice this game, Olivier, so... The block wouldn't have helped him here, so you know that's a that's a good point as well, right? Like it just depends, doesn't it? But to win tournaments, you've got to you've got to win the big games, haven't you? So yeah. So to win tournaments, I feel like the juggernaut is better because you'll be on table one and you've got to win that game, and and the pers your opponent on table one is not going to be rubbish. So well, I've seen people go to tournaments and just like stomp their way through, like noob stomp their way to tournament wins. Yeah. But, it happens on occasion. But, but in uh, general, in general, your opponent on on 
on the table one is not going to be rubbish, right? No. You shouldn't plan on them being rubbish. <laughs> you shouldn't plan on them being rubbish. And but I mean, I again, rubbish is a bit harsh. But you know, I whatever, right? At the end of the day, top top players, you're going to have to want to earn against basically. Yeah. A decent amount of the time. Pretty much. So I think leaning into the one turn to win those really tough games, I I like that idea. Um, but for ladder and stuff, you're going to get much more out of optimizing versus the average opponent because you play 99 average opponents <laughs> and one top player <laughs> oh man it's so tempting to re-roll that isn't it but yeah you can't yeah you really can't because uh, knowing Olivier he's going for the dive again yeah. yep I mean he has to go for the dive again uh, I mean, he could just lie down, couldn't he? What would Elliot do? Lie down. True. He could also roll a blitz into uh, into just two dicing this lad, couldn't he? He could. <laughs> Both lines are kind of okay. Mm. But he is going for the dive. <laughs> I told you. I told you, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, I guessed he would. But Elliot would probably have laid down, right? Oh, yeah, you reroll this. Oh. Uh, gets uh, gets the ball? No, he doesn't. It's, he's no, he not doesn't. Wrestle. I was thinking it was Sol's wrestle stripper. Sol's wrestle stripper would have got the ball. But Olivier's only stripper doesn't. Couldn't find two threes on four dice. No. Well, he did, but not at the same time. Yeah, you, you know what I meant. <laughs> Me and language. It's the pal. Sol's right ogre would definitely be be dead. He would have been dead off the first dub skulls. He wouldn't have had the chance to roll the second dub skulls. <laughs> he would have literally already been dead. He could three dice this guy, right? Blockless. Yeah. Yeah, double one in 27, I don't know what that is, but it's not high, is it? Nothing. Yeah, these are pretty pretty tough rats. Only line rats that have been cast and KO'd as well. Yeah, I mean, in incredibly tough rats. They've literally only had two players removed, and it was only line rats here. Yeah. I wonder if he, you know, Bright should have tried to get the foul on the rat or get like there was there was a there was a turn where he had a chance to foul it, and I, I thought to myself, I thought to myself, oof, if only the guard wasn't nerfed, he could have had an extra assist on this foul, and he didn't go for it. But um, that's the thing, and it, it is it is interesting because the juggernaut is really quite good, isn't it? The juggernaut is really quite good, and he's got sized up as well for the one turn, makes it a bit easier. Yeah, you shouldn't be a shitty. You shouldn't be a shitty dice roller, so. <laughs> yeah, <if you. laughs> Being a dice roller, you know, you should be a good dice roller. That's uh, that's important. Oh, he's going to do the backwards one because Bright has uh, left this two away. So we're going for the the big Kev one turn variant. It's not really the big Kev one turn variant, but he he was the first person I ever saw do it, and it blew my mind. And I was like, wow, this guy's a genius. Artemis, of course, said this is just a normal one turn, nothing to see here. <laughs> but I thought it was very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, yeah, he obviously knows that's why he's set up like this. I mean, that's what he's setting up to do, isn't he? So, yeah, the idea is 
you fill these squares in front, blitz him, he sidesteps up to here, and then you knock him out, he doesn't even have to dodge. So yeah, this is, uh, you know, providing he gets the pushes, this is going to be a pretty easy one to him. And he also, the, the ball's not in a square, so you can start by just passing it to him instantly. And he's got it. He's only got one reroll, otherwise he would have done the GFIs, wouldn't he? To, uh, or like one GFI to make it a two plus pass, but with, a, with only one reroll, it's not worth it. Do you move this guy to, to help him activate? So he doesn't kill this one? I guess it doesn't really matter. This guy can assist as well, or somebody else. This, because this guy has to punch, doesn't he? This guy, no, no. The first hit goes to there, so he, he just needs to exist. He doesn't actually have to punch, but he could punch. Imagine so, just needing to exist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this one, so it's a three into three. This is really, really good one turning. Mm, provided he doesn't, yeah, he's gonna have to. He, the, provided he doesn't bite, okay, he doesn't bite, so it's all, it's all good. Gets the push. Does not get. Oh no, he's juggernaut, it, juggernaut, it, juggernaut, it, just juggernaut, it. I knew, I knew juggernaut was a thing. <laughs> you managed to remember again. Yeah, and he gets the push. And now he can get an additional push. Yep. Three D. Gets it. Wowie. Easy one turn, wasn't it? Easy one turn. So there you go. Wonderfully, wonderfully executed one turn there from Olivier. And, you know, maybe, maybe, in well, fact, definitely mistake from Bright leaving that guy two ways. It makes it too easy. But, I mean, I don't know what the actual proper defense is versus that. But, yeah, it's not that. Because I mean, that he, is... he was missing the Wraith, so he couldn't set up correctly. Quote unquote, and no matter mm -hmm. what, like, yeah, because he was missing that wraith, he couldn't set up to stop the one turn fully. Yeah, yeah, but it was, you know. <laughs> yes, Artemis, that was what I was like the first time I saw that one turn. It's a very impressive one turn, especially the first time you've ever seen it. But apparently, Artemis, that didn't impress Artemis at all the first time he ever saw it. But it certainly impressed me the first time I ever saw it. But now that I've seen it a few times, I'm just, I still think it's a clever one turn. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Quite but, possibly because it is a clever one turn. <laughs> yeah, but now, like now, I now I'd expect it. Of course, now I'd expect it from like you know Olivia Dulac and Crystal Hunter and K Fog, you know, and people who play like you know that kind of Skaven at a high level or just a good player of Blood Bowl. I would expect it from now. But the first time I saw it, it completely blew my mind because I just hadn't thought of doing it. <laughs> Uh, Jock, that's funny. We played against Yena and Alfea as well at TTC, and I don't fancy just backlining. Mm. I don't think it's a better one-turn defense against Gamer. It was, it was better than this. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but but you know, just backlining <laughs> is not going to work against Gamer. Like, yes, you're guaranteeing a four plus in there somewhere, but it's just. It's not good if you're just allowing them to get the pushes. Oh, sure. And the worst, you're leaving them as a 75. Sure. But it was better than this. So, you know, probably Bright having lost that, having lost that, uh, Wraith, maybe it was me, or maybe. I mean, this is a guy with two stand firms and a sidestep as well. It, it, maybe, yes. maybe it is the best uh, a certain amount of the time. I mean, the first person who ever one turned was was Big Brain, anyway, right? Like that, just just a basic one turn. It, like even you, the whole method is like pretty smart for being the first person to ever do it. I mean, the first ever one turn that I witnessed blew my mind because I had tabbed out. When I was on fumble, I tabbed out thinking that I'd won the game, <laughs> and then I drew, and I was completely bamboozled <laughs> as to how I'd drawn. And then I saw the one turn. I was like, "Oh, that's really clever, isn't it?" And then. But, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? But then, well, obviously, once you've seen that, now you expect the the whole method. Oh, okay, I thought it was the Roger again. Uh, once you've seen, like, the whole method, then, you then okay, well, then that's pretty basic, isn't it? And then you 
you know, you have the cleverer ones. But I think that's about the best one turn is the blitz back into the sidestepper. I think that's the cleverest one. Yes, but I mean, I hadn't seen it before. Ah, that's the, what I'm saying. So the first time I ever saw it, I was like, oh, this is this is brilliant. And it is a brilliant solution. <laughs> until it's a basic <laughs> until it's a basic skill, it is a brilliant solution, isn't it? Hello, DK Max. The Blood Bowl Super League is um well there's there's links to it. There's all sorts of links, lots of links. Um I guess the Discord is the best one, isn't it? Discord is the best one, but there's also like you know there's videos of it on YouTube. There's links to the tables, links to the uh, rules, all sorts. But essentially, it is twelve people who are really good at Blood Bowl playing Euro Bowl rules, um, NAF style games in a bit of a a bit of a league and then a cup. There you go. Yep. So, like, you know, Olivier Dulac is the number one ranked uh, player on tabletop number with Skaven. And Bright is a top Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 3 coach who's just won the Blood Bowl 3 chalice. Uh, like the ladder playoffs. And so there you go. Well, this is this is the best play. Well, <laughs> so knowing what's changed in in tabletop is unfortunately like you know some of the teams aren't in right, like vampires and stuff. And I guess two of the biggest changes are, are Amazon's getting strength four dudes and vampires being good, <laughs> which aren't replicated in this, but uh, mostly similar. <laughs> okay, since second ed, a lot has changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the third ed, third ed, right? Twenty-three years ago, still third ed. Um, but yeah, that's quite a lot's changed since then. Yep. Yeah, a lot's changed since then. Oh, so much has changed since then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I mean second is unrecognisable compared to third and then um, third is still the basic it's still the basic game right it's still the same basic game um, with like wasn't turnovers second edition, wasn't second edition the edition where everyone could blitz essentially as long yes as they had move yes yeah yeah you had a movement stat and then a sprinting stat and you could move up to your movement and punch but then or you could trade punching for the sprinting madness I say <laughs> yeah yeah so I it was just I mean it was weird it was completely unrecognizable whereas at least third ed you know it was a lot more luck based than it is now um, but it's still basically the same game as we play even you know 94 30 years later it's still basically the same game right very recognizable as the same game yeah pretty much not that I've been playing it for that long but what I've heard. Yeah. Certain things are different, a lot different, but um, yeah, it's still still the same, like same, still the same concept, like block dice and turnovers. And... The the core fundamentals of the game haven't really changed. Yeah. Remove a gutter. Who nicely exposed himself? <laughs> Whoa. <Well, hey. laughs> Interesting. I don't know why the gutter went there, but he did. Outpost is my assumption for next turn. But I mean, he, gutter runners are movement nine, <laughs> so I don't get it. He wasn't going to blitz anybody else, was he? Like that was the problem. Like it was just you just mm. guaranteed eating the blitz. Um, so I did not like. I mean, maybe it was so that he didn't get blitzed here because he, he could have done this 
block was hit first, couldn't he? And then blitzed him there. Maybe he didn't want to. But then, but then you can run past. So I don't know, I don't know Jeff. I don't know. Well, there's some good play a good place to play. Funnily enough, is the NAF ladder, which is a new thing made by uh, made by Coach Morg, where you can kind of have you know tabletop kind of games. So that's a good thing there. That's that's the NAF ladder Discord. <laughs> it is Fleggy, yeah, that's that's mind-boggling, isn't it? That is actually mind-boggling. So there's an easy switch to the other side here, isn't there? Which presumably is where he's going to go. Well, didn't get the knockdown. I, I think I would have gone for the fleshy. You still kind of need the power, didn't you? You still needed the power, whichever yeah. you went for. But I guess this gets the roger off the fleshy, which is good. And it opens up the, the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it could give him two chances. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it did give him two chances. So this was just definitely better than blitzing the fleshy because the push gave him the... For some reason, I was thinking the, the push didn't give him the... You know, the knockdown on the second hit didn't give him the thing, but it totally did. Yeah. I was being a big dummy. Gaben are still cheating, aren't they? They're really fast. They're really, really fast. Yeah, but Super G, like, he blitzed he blitzed the lineman first, right? Like, he blitzed the zombie, so if he'd powered the zombie, he wouldn't have had to rely on the ogre, right? So, like, yeah. he blitzed that zombie first, and if he'd powered him, he, he, got, the, he got the way through. On a power, but it also gave him a second chance. Whereas, it, whereas blitzing the fleshy, only had one chance to power him. Oh, into a one D. No. Nope. Rerolls into a pow. Jesus. Well, this is the best player to hit, and casses him. Flip me. Well, I mean, the strip ball isn't as important now that he's on offense and he's looking to score on sixteen, anyways. True. But you know, it's still a good player to hit, isn't it? I mean, it's a gutter runner, so of course it's going to be a good player to hit. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's not the most important gutter runner. No. But that, the most important one is the one with the ball, isn't it? Whichever one it is. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's pretty important because, you know, if he gets a two or three turn chance, um, you know, like, if things go well for Bright here, he'll have a one or two turn, he'll have like a two or three turn chance, a four turn chance to score back. So not having the stripper in, uh, for that drive is pretty nice. Like obviously in a perfect world, he he just stops uh, he stops Olivia completely. But even then, like you know, if he stops him completely, he gets the ball of this drive. So again, you know, not having the strip is is still great. So yeah, I still think it's pretty good. He's gonna one D the uh, Roger. He might. Really wanted to power that, didn't he? So he want, so he could get in somehow. But yeah, I wonder. He could have GFI'd right. Oh, okay, so no, what? he's not. He's okay. going in. He's going in for the side stepper. I mean, it's pretty solid, but I'm not sure I like the four plus. No, I mean, it's really good if it works. I, I, I think I would have rather gone GFI to here, right? I think I'd have rather GFI to here. Yeah. If you're going to try the 4 plus to get there. It completely closes off any counterplay if you go for the rush. Yeah, it seems a lot better to me. But here we go, we've got the sideline cage. <laughs> you do an orky voice. Uh, I'm not going to have anybody ever do an orky voice, <laughs> DK Max. <laughs> 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 but it is Hargrim, you can see he's a, he's a tiny little James Bond <laughs> in a British teacup. <laughs> That's actually life size. Still the best thing to come out of AI generative imaging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It probably is. 
<laughs> Which ton is the 007 at? The World Cup. The World Cup. 2023. Whoa. <laughs> yes, Pavlos, yes, that is. <laughs> that is sad when you when you realise <laughs> when you realise a milf is just <laughs> is just somebody your age <laughs> or younger. <laughs> you can have quite a you can have quite an age gap on, on a milf. <laughs> yeah, pretty sad. It's sad getting old, isn't it? I wouldn't know. No, oh, it is. You will. You will. <laughs> One day I will know the pains. So you can free the you can free the wolf here. Um, oh my god! And you can Kaz Ooh. as well. And you can. I serve. just feel like. I feel like these casualties are coming in a little too late. Yes, they are, yeah, yeah. Lots of cars. But yeah, there's only four turns left at best for Bright to like you know, if he's got a force to score this turn, hasn't he? And then he's got four yeah. turns to score, then he's all, then he's looking all he's looking pretty decent for a draw if he can force the score very soon. But um it's got to be very soon, <laughs> which is the problem. Problem is, there really isn't any threat on the ball at the moment without rolling a three plus somewhere. No, no. The best he can do is like just put more pressure on, isn't it? Which even then he's not putting a whole lot on. No. You can kind of blitz with this wolf and then put the wolf out in front. Okay, so he's oh. going to dodge blitz. Fair enough. Probably should have put this fleshy in first, right? Because you want to tag yeah. this guy anyway, so you might as well have tagged him in case the dodge failed. And then this sure. ghoul can dodge through there, so we can actually get this. Is, this is, works pretty well if it, if it all works, which is, I mean, that guaranteed to work. It's a three plus dodge with dodge skill, right? To yeah. basically shore up the position. Yep. Yeah. But I mean, and force a one D somewhere or a I've, three plus somewhere. I've never. Do okay, so he's not basing oh. him. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Wow. I would not have done that. Rerolls this. Ooh, saucy. So he really wanted to get the power. Ooh, she is him? Yeah, he really wanted to get the power so he could dodge away the uh, wolf on a three plus, eh? Let me. And he does get that dodge there, but this guy is left open. Oh, and he gets the four plus dodge. <laughs> A turn. But man, I really do wonder, you know, if he could look that instantly this guy blitzes and he could have been burst. Oh my oh, god, one, he's in one nine. In nine. That would have been the failed dodge. <laughs> And he's just going to score, probably, isn't he? Gets the push there. Two plus, One, two, two three, plus, two plus, four, five, and he's away. Seven, yeah. He does he get the score. score yeah. yeah. So yeah, good turn by Bright. Ultimately, forced the score, and now has four turns to score, and doesn't have to face the stripper. So this has become very relevant, right? This was this. I mean, this was the best way yeah. to get the ball. Yeah. Now it's become very relevant. Yeah. The thing is, it's still four turns for the Necro to score. If if the Skaven just play defense well enough and don't play overly aggressive, <laughs> it should be fine. This is Olivier, so... <laughs> it's true, it is Olivier, so you never know. <laughs> the problem is, like, it's weird, right? Because, like, playing aggressive kind of is the way to play as rats, isn't it? Because, they, they you know, they can't just they can't just two plus everybody off like elves can. So it is weird having those rubbish linemen. But oh, pitch invasion. Oh dear. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's big. Big. Luckily for Bright, it, there's three uh, three rats down as well. <laughs> yeah. Because that would have been an absolute disaster if it had been three versus none. Unfortunately, one of them was on the line. Hmm. And there is a free hit on the sidestepper, but not that it's a good hit, but you know, it's there. <laughs> Again, I think just shoring this up is maybe the best best idea now. Three players yeah, it's, down. It's just put ball in middle, be okay, be Gucci. Mm. He gets it. Maybe he will uh fleshy blitz now, yeah. He did it last last drive, it's a lot stronger now than it was then. Gets the big pow. <laughs> Alder is just high elf, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just an elf. <laughs> she, she's an elf. <laughs> That's pretty good. No idea, J-Lev. Like, my, my guess would be it's like the division of um, every single race rating. But mm. you'd have to ask someone who's a lot smarter than I am. It's it's the like yeah it's like the average of your NAF ranking somehow my own mind band yeah. but it is like the NAF ranking. Yeah, but uh, what? But Uruguay could have not been a tie, right? It could have not been a tie, and then it could have just been three players for Bright and none for Olivier, right? Which would have been horrendous. But yeah, he was lucky. It was it was lucky it was a tie. That, that's what yeah. What, what I was saying was he was lucky it was a tie because if he just if he just been three old by the PI, it would have been it would have been a nightmare. Yeah. So there you go then. So J Leave has uh, has cracked it probably. Interesting. Intra it's kind of interesting that, isn't it? I don't know why I pinned it. I could have just posted it in my Discord, couldn't I? You could have done that as well. Yes. Yeah. The ball DK. I don't know what Donkey Kong's got to do with anything, but there you go. And yes, I know, I know DK's down there. <laughs> So yeah, this is pretty strong, isn't it? Getting everybody up here. Um, two turns left. But yeah, he should be able to screen it. Olivier. Hey! <laughs> Kaelon. <laughs> yeah, absolute gal. <laughs> Pin, of course, should be my uh, my fantastic new video about uh, what's he called? Uh, <laughs> Rushnak backstabber. <laughs> oh, roll the one. But yeah, obviously you can use his can obviously use his uh, three rolls now, can't he? He just needs to defend the two one. Yep. Oh, injured. Oh. 
Fell over. And with this block here, with this block and this blitz, there's a way through, isn't there? There is indeed. This fleshy could maybe GFI type the rogue. Okay, he's just going that way. Oh, we're going down the side. Doesn't get the pow either. Wouldn't have done that. Looking I would, I would have now. I would have simply rolled the power there. <laughs> Don't about yeah, you. Bad Patrick. strategy. Bad strategy to not just instantly roll a pow. Yeah. It's... Bright needs to get better at this game. Just roll powers. It's quite simple. Make it the BBSL thing that makes more sense for to be pinned than a random a random rankings thing that I found interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so GFI to, to base the rogue has made sense, didn't it? But also he could have like, you know, GFI or double GFI if he'd actually gone through here, which was an option. Yeah. Doctors with a wolf. Shores up the cage. Yeah, I thought he might go for that Wraith Dodge at yeah, the end. Yeah, you don't re-roll that though. Olivier's out of re-rolls. Got some very important dice rolls to make here. Mm, is he going to go for the surf, is he? Can, can he go for the surf? Yeah, he can go for the surf here. Yeah, yeah. That wolf at the front of the cage <laughs> might have might have ruined his uh might have ruined the drive for him, right? Yeah. Might just have sodded things up. Yeah. This is a one D for a push and then run around uphill surf. Gets the push. As long as this isn't No, it's fine. As long as it's not a removal, yeah, as long as it's not a removal. Yeah. Not a removal. Not a removal. Wait, no, I was being stupid. <laughs> he oh, didn't yeah. dodge in. He had to dodge in first with that sidestepper, didn't he? The sidestepper didn't dodge in. No, no, the sidestepper doesn't need to dodge in. Now he needs to dodge in with the wrestler. I think, I think, Olivia. No, the, the yeah, the wrestler needs to dodge. Yeah, it doesn't need. Yeah, yeah, the wrestler needs to dodge in, and then the no, thrower has to uh, dodge in as well. This is oh, this is really really. How do you solve this without having to roll a million dice? Uh, it's not a million dice, is it? But yeah, for some reason I had thought exactly the same way as Olivia that this was just going to be a yeah. serve. Right, he did it instantly. I did it instantly as well. I just thought I just thought this was going to be a serve, but it's just not at all. <laughs> it's just literally not. Um, I think you have to put the dodge in the wrestler here. Like no, there, there is there is a way of doing it. From from one angle, it's two five you need, pluses. You need a three two. With the gutter, three two four with the gutter runner to fill out the square directly south of the ghoul. Right. Then you dodge the thrower, pop it in the last square. Well, he's just going in with this. Oh, okay. Yeah. It did require a four plus dodge with the Roger, though. Yeah, yeah, Roger, Roger fill in, yeah. And and the Roger, the, side the Roger would yeah. have to blitz the Wraith to stop any sidestep square, so you get the chain push to surf. Yeah. So it was a three, two, four with the gutter runner, a three with the um, with the leader, and then yeah. a four with the Roger. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, and and two rushes. Essentially. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that that's better than the five plus with the uh, thrower, right? Neither am I. It's just it was a way. Yeah, yeah. I haven't calculated the other lines, so. 
Right, well, there you go. This worked out brilliantly for Bright. But yeah, it's funny that it's funny that we all thought, oh, this is just an easy <laughs> surf. And then... <laughs> no, and then it wasn't it an easy surf. It wasn't. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But um, I really hate that the, the, the end of the game, it doesn't just show you the result. That's so annoying, isn't it? Got to go through all of this to get to the uh, to get to the result again. But there you go, a two-two draw, thanks to the one turn from Olivia. Otherwise, you would have it would have just been a two-one grind loss. <laughs> but um, yep, yeah, the it was a great one turn. I thought it was a great one turn, um, and a, you know a good a good instructive video for how to do like a, a a clever one turn, isn't it? It's definitely good. It's definitely better than a. Oh yeah, do you know what? It probably was the wraith. It probably was the wraith, honestly, because it's like that does my head in with the wraith. I've I've lost be, be, be games before thinking the wraith is in like a different square. Like it cost me versus Andy as well. Like it didn't cost me. Wow, I might have lost anyway, but it definitely cost me versus Andy one game. And like in other games as well, it's just so annoying the wraiths like knowing what square they're in. So yeah, it could have been that could have factored into it in some way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was well played by both, really. I thought it was a very good game. Highest quality, glorious Blood Bowl Super League. Yep. Any thoughts, Hagram? That was a really interesting game to watch. It seemed like it was at a high enough level to be like really competitive, and a couple of bad turns could have really swung the game around. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So uh, well played to both, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.